guys, my name is Miss Melissa and I am a Trek leader from T2 Ministries, which is in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I am here to share with you from our book this year, um, His People. Um, so welcome to Trek. This year, we're going to be digging into the book of Acts. Now, Acts tells the story of what happens after Jesus ascends into heaven, specifically the work and ministry accomplished by the apostles and the church. The thing to remember over the next several weeks is that God set up his church as a place where ministry is done together. Your life and faith were not meant to be a solo activity or existence. God has given you tremendous gifts and tools to accomplish his mission. This year, we aim to prepare ourselves to join other believers in fulfilling his mission. Are you guys ready to be challenged and changed by the word of God? I hope the answer is yes. Well, let's go ahead and let's jump into our first lesson, 1.1, the promise of power. Now, the story of Jesus didn't end with his ascension into heaven. If the story was once upon a time, Jesus came, left, and then everything went back to the way it was, it wouldn't be a very powerful story, would it? No way. And thankfully, that is not how the story ended. Acts picks up as Jesus goes back into heaven and he tells them that they will be telling the world his story. But he doesn't send them, his disciples, out on that journey just yet. He tells them to wait, that something is on the horizon, and they will be receiving a gift that will help them on that mission. He promised them power, but not just any power, but power that they would be able to use to take his story to anyone, everywhere. When Jesus left, he said he would send the Holy Spirit to them, and this gift was going to change everything. What happens next in our story changes the world, and what's even more awesome is that the gift that he sends is still present and working in our lives today. Our verse for this week says, But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. This verse is a very concise outline of what the book of Acts is all about. The Holy Spirit arrived just as Jesus said he would, and the gospel would travel from one city to the next and throughout the entire world. Jesus tasked his disciples with this mission, which was no easy mission but he gave them what they needed in order to accomplish the task. And guys, we have been given a mission too. Are you ready for that mission? I hope that as we study the book of Acts together this year, you will feel more confident and more equipped to do the work that God has laid before you. And I want you guys to remember a very important thing, that this mission is not one that we do alone. And it's not one that God has not called you to. He's called all of us to this mission. And remember this, that God has made you on purpose and for a purpose. And my prayer is that you discover this purpose this year as we study through our book, His People. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.